Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Gene Zahara here with the Quad City Times weather. Of course, all eyes will be focused on the next round of some scattered strong to severe storms. We got some pretty high risk going on around our area. Of course, that moderate risk, that level four risk is in that uh, kind of purple shaded area. And I'm going to be monitoring some activity that's going to be bubbling up, I would say, just north of the Quad Cities. There, if there's going to be a chance for any maybe tornadic activity with one or two of these storms, it's going to probably occur in this particular area and then become one long squall line as it races away south and east right near the Chicagoland area. So that is what I'm expecting as we head into the evening hours. We can show you that with our future track. You can see some of the stuff kind of bubbling here and there near the Quad Cities, but also going into Rockford. That's the area of concern this evening. Afterwards, that will be racing its way off to the south south and east, allowing our weather to remain nice and quiet for the rest of the night. Still some broken clouds expected overnight. Could be seeing some instability sprinkles or showers by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, really for towns north and east of the Quad Cities, otherwise a sun cloud mix. So uh, that will lead to maybe not some more, only not only some uh, less uh, warmth in the forecast, but also less humidity as well. 69 for the overnight low. Keep an eye on those skies come this evening, and then quieter skies for tomorrow with a high of 84, but then things start warming up again, heading into the weekend with numbers right around 90 degrees with another chance for a few scattered showers, especially by Sunday.